hi guys today's video i'm going to show you how to create dynamic website using ai and in this example we are going to create categories and post module where super admin can add the categories and post and then we are creating the front end where we can display all the post and you can view the post this is very simple basic dynamic website we are going to create so first of all let me go to my terminal yeah and just i'm going to create a new laravel project so i will just say laravel new okay and it is asking for project name laravel ai2 okay just i'm giving the folder name and it is asking for which starter kit you want to install i will choose livewire and then you can see that laravel built authentication i will say yes and i will use vault okay and i will use paste as a testing framework and now you can see that it is started to install then you can see that it is asking for npm install i will say yes and you can see that npm install successfully let me go to the laravel this ai dash 2 folder okay and let's go to the uh, let's run the application so i'm going to just say composer run dev okay and you can see that localhost 8000 8, so just copy that and let me go to my safari browser and let's open it and just paste it over here and you can see that our laravel application up and running let me go to the register and i'm going to register one user and i will just say how they get there at gmail.com okay and just i am adding password as well over here okay one two three four five six seven eight nine and click on create account not now and you can see that there is a very basic installation done now we are going to add new module over here called categories and then we are going to add the post where i can add the dynamic so first of all what ai we are going to use so we are going to use cloudy ai so you can see that this is the official website and you can create a free account and if you like then you can also buy a pro and you can buy the max uh, plan as well okay and make sure you need to download the cloudy ai in your system so if you are using the mac then you can download from here if you are using the windows you can download from here okay so make sure you have installed the cloudy and how you can check that so let me go to my terminal and let's open the new tab and here i will just add a cloudy and hit enter you can see that i have already installed so that's why it is giving me directly prompt uh, area okay so let me just cancel it and let's clear it now let's open this project to vs code editor so code dot and you can see that and yes it's trusted okay and you can see over here is in the env by default we are going to use sqlite so that's why they are not asking other things okay and now first of all in vs code editor you need to go in extension center and you just need to search cloud cloudy ai extension you need to click it and you need to install it so but i already installed it so that's why it is not asking me to again okay but i already installed it so let me go back to the files and you can see that after install you will see this icon over here and you just need to click on it let me close this and you can see that it is run the cloudy ai okay and first time when you install at the time they are going to redirect on browser and you just need to authorize and now let's run the first prompt to create the categories module okay so here i will say in my laravel 12 live wire project can you create crude operation for category with name column you can add link to side just simple prompt and hit enter and it is going to automatically scan our entire laravel application and create a crude a module for us so let's wait a moment to do that when they run the command you can see that php artisan category so I, they are asking do you want to run so i will say yes don't ask me again for that so you just need to make sure so every time when they are doing something they will ask you to do that now you can see that our uh, you know like entire prompt is run successfully and what it's done so let me just scroll up and what uh, they did you can see over here they have created model and migration and they have also run the migration you can see over here okay they have created a live fire module automatically we don't have to do anything and just scroll down you can see that they have created a blad file as well 
and then let me go scroll down and you can see that they have added the routes as well and they have added link to the sidebar as well now let me go and check on the browser so let me go to safari and just go to the dashboard you can see that they have added category module over here and if i click on it and you can see that i have got the error so why i'm going to show you that sometime they they don't know which flux uh, items they need to use it so that's why but you don't have to worry just copy that and just go back to vs code and just i will say like fix this error and just hit enter and it is going to fix that error quickly and now you can see that our error is resolved and i can create a category as well so let me just create a new category over here like cat1 and click on add category you can see that so that's awesome if i click over here cat too, I can create a new category so I can also edit it and I can also delete it as well so this is dynamically we have created category same way we need to create for post as well so let me go here and write prompt for that so same way I will just write same way you have to create word creation for post you need to add title body and category underscore it fills in post table okay then also i will define like a category underscore id will link with category table okay and then also like you can see that in our module they have created in the same page so what i'm going to do create separate pages for listing create edit post and also i'm going to define like when i'm going to create and edit post at that time i will have drop down of category and choose from it okay and also i'm going to mention like body will have rich text box you have to add it add link to sidebar just like that and just hit enter and it is going to create a new module for us that's called post module with the title body and category underscore id column so let's wait a moment now you can see that our prompt is run successfully so if i click on app you can see that they have created post route and also added the relationship and also added inside the category relationship and if i go here and if i can see you can see that they have automatically add all the routes as well so if we don't have to do anything let's go back to the browser and you can see that they have added in the sidebar there is a post uh, over here and if i click on it i can create the post you can see that i can choose the category and just i will say test and test body and just click on create post you can see that i can create test post post as well and i can edit it and i can delete it as well so this was for the back end and now let's create a front end so let me go here and go to the vs code and i'm going to just say like uh, uh, like i will say now create front and for me in home page display list of all the post and when i click on post i can see the view page okay and then i will also mention don't use live wire for it because you know i want to just keep based on the controller you can create controller and you can create i will also give the name as well i will like create a front end controller and
manage it okay so this is the prompt whatever you can write it and it will create a proper front end for you so just hit enter and it is going to create a front end for us so let's wait a moment and now you can see that they have added automatically routes over here and let me go here and show you that one so let me go and you can see over here is uh, like they have created routes and also they have created resource file over here that's called front end like home and list of all the posts they have display and also they have created a detail page so let me go back to the browser okay and let's go for a home page so just remove this and hit enter and you can see that welcome to our blog page and you can see that this is the latest post right now we just added like test and test body and if i click on uh, more and you can see that this is the detail page so this is very simple and basic design they have done it but like uh, that looks awesome okay now what i'm going to do the next i'm going to create and asking like hey create a dummy data for me like create a categories and create a post for it so just let me go back over here and just say like hey create dummy data for me like uh, 10 categories okay like uh, php angular laravel okay like technology related okay and then also create dummy post for me like i will just mention 10 post for me okay and just hit enter and it is going to create for us like 10 categories and 10 posts so that way we can see like how our front end is looking okay so let's wait a moment and you can see that they have created uh, like categories and post for us so let me go to the database cedar and they have created a two cedar for a category you can see that php laravel vuejs not just that all category and then you can see that they have created a post cedar for us and they have created uh, like our content for us so let me go to the browser and safari and you can see if i going to refresh and you can see that we have a latest post you can see over here with javascript with react and if i click on it like read more and you can see that there is a very simple okay like let me go back to the home and if i click on javascript tutorial and you can see that so this is very basic and simple uh, application that we are going to create like we did that with the dynamic website and in just like uh, 10 to 15 minutes so if you like this video then share with your friends and this was just getting started but you can do more advanced thing like if you want to create a sitemap if you want to create a, like tags module category page and everything you can do with the ai but at least if you know about laravel then you can do and you can like play with it so at the end don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel see you in the next video guys